In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build an AI agent that cold codes for you from complete scratch in less than 15 minutes. This is going to be the most easiest, cheapest and effective way how you can build such an AI agent for yourself. And by the time this is done, you will have the exact blueprint how you can replicate this for yourself. And if you simply follow along, you will have a cold calling agent all for yourself. The first step to building your AI cold calling agent is heading over to ringly.io and you will have a free trial for a 10 minute call. And if you like it, you can also upgrade to a paying plan, which is actually quite cheap so the first thing that you're going to do after you created your free account is you're going here to agents and then you're going to click on create new as you can see most agents are for e-commerce but you can also create a new agents and start from scratch so we're going to click here on start from scratch and we want to do outbound calls so you want to actively approach prospects so we click here on outbound make calls for now we want to start with a simple agent so what we're going to do is we click here on simple agent the next thing that we can do is completely set up and customize our own cold calling a agent so so the first thing that we can configure is the voice. So we're going to go with Chloe and then we're going to choose English. You can also choose, for example, Spanish or German or Dutch and advanced voice settings. This is something where you can just configure the voice to your liking. So you can increase the talk speed, you can increase the reply speed and also add things like pronunciation for specific words. The second step is adding instructions. So this is basically how the agent should answer or basically what the agent should say. So here you can also change the personality. You can adjust the answer length and then what we also have to do is give instructions so we also copied out our instructions so basically what we want is we have an outbound agency and we want to offer our outbound services and this is something that we want the agent to basically pitch to him what we can also add is a greetings this basically says that the agent says something first but as we are calling this is something i would not recommend so we're basically going to delete it because as in a normal phone conversation the person that gets called basically is the first person that says something the third part is basically adding a trigger but as we will build in complete AI cold calling agent, we do not need to consider this because this is something we will do in the second part of the video. As a fourth step, we can do some additional configurations to our call setting and basically say this is the maximum phone call length that we want or we can also leave an AI voicemail if we want. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to feed the AI agent with the knowledge that he needs so we can create a knowledge base. What we're able to do now is give the AI agent all the knowledge that he should have about our company, about our prospects, about all of the things that he should know. So we already created our knowledge base and uh, this is something that you should also set up of course what we can also do is configure actions so basically we can create an action and let's say for example we want to book an appointment so what you can do is you can connect your cal.com so this makes everything easier and already books appointments directly in your calendar another very important step is that we're going to the deploy ribbon so this will allow us to configure a phone number that the agent should use to call the person so if you already have a phone number you can use the option one or the option number two which we're going to do is we're going to actually buy a new phone number this looks like a good number so we click here on buy and going to buy it through our ringly.io account great now we've set up our ai agent with a number so this will allow chloe to now use this number to cold call prospects after our AI agent is set up we're going to the google sheet this is also something which will be in the description so the only thing that you have to put in is the first and the last name and the linkedin url and then we're going to get the phone number through our AI agent workflow which we're going to show now and then we're going to also to see if the AI agent also called this person already or not. To build the AI agent, we're going to use a tool called EnitN, and this is something that you can host completely for free, or you can also basically use it as a cloud solution. So we're going to click here on start from scratch, and you're going to click here on the three dots, click on import from file, and we will share this file, of course, in the description. So you're able to just copy and paste the whole AI agent into your EnitN. As a basic overview, we have the Google Sheet here, and then we're also going to use Better Contact. It's a waterfall enrichment tool, which aggregates over 20 data providers into one tool and finds us the most optimized mobile phone number for that prospect. So this will also allow us to get the verified number and directly push it to Ringly so that the AI agent can actually call and do everything for us in an automated way. To go a little bit more in depth, we're going to start with the first module, which is the Google Sheet one. So basically this is a watch any new row module. So this will allow us to monitor our Google Sheet and the AI agent will, as soon as a new lead or prospect is added to your Google Sheet, will start the flow from from the beginning. The first thing you have to do now is double click here on the Google Sheet module and you will have to connect your Google Sheet to NetN. It's actually quite simple. You also have to select the right document. So this is the name of the workbook and then the right sheet. So as you can see here, this is the name and this is the name of the sheet and the trigger that you have to use is trigger on row edit. So every time here a new row is added, so a new prospect is added, we are going to send that to AI agent and then the AI agent will take care of it automatically. This is everything for that 
module. So then go to the next module, Better Contact. As mentioned, you can create an account completely for free. You will have free credits that you can use. So this is the API call that the AI will do to Better Contact to find the mobile phone number of that prospect. We will also now check out quickly the API documentation from Better Contact. So we're going to go on doc.bettercontact.rocks. And what we're going to see is quite straightforward how we can enrich a direct phone number, so a mobile phone number. And we are going to use the post async endpoint, so enriching a new lead. When you created a free Better Contact account, you can then just copy paste the API key that you get from the dashboard inside Better Contact and paste it here. So name API key and then pasting your API key here. We're then scrolling down to the body of the request. So we put here JSON using JSON. And what we would see here is we have the first name, the last name and the LinkedIn URL. As soon as you've connected your Google Sheet, you can do a sample request and then you will have all of these variables here in your input field. As soon as it's there, you can then just drag and drop them here or you can also just write them out. The next part from the body request is here, the enrich phone number, enrich email address and the webhook. So this is from the API documentation from Better Contact and we will set the enrich phone number to true because we want the phone number. But as we have an AI cold calling agent, we don't want the email address. So to set up a webhook, this is basically this part here. We can click here on the plus, we click on webhook and what we'll be able to see then is that we get a webhook url so it's important that you use the production url you can just copy that out and then you go back to your better contact module and then we are going to paste that here so i already created it so this is my webhook and basically what it does it ask better contact to find the phone number and better contact will then automatically push the phone number to this webhook the next thing we have to do then is connect ringly so how this would be done if this wouldn't exist yet we click here on http request and we're going to to the Ringly IO documentation, so the API documentation. I already created the HTTP request, so this is something you will already see when you import the whole agent. And what we will do, we will quickly go to the API documentation from Ringly.io, just like we did with Better Contact. And what we're going to look at here is the post make an outbound call and we are now going to see how we can set that up so we click here on the module again a double click and what we'll be able to see here is that we have to paste our ringly api key in so this is the api endpoint the one that we get here from the documentation and then we need to send the header. So this is authorization and this is the value. So we can find the API key here under integrations. For that, just click on API and webhooks and we can generate a new one. So I already generated one. So we can just copy and paste it out here and then we can put it here in the value for the authorization. We also add the name, which is content type as well as application slash JSON. And what we also need to do is activating send body. So we will have here JSON and then using JSON because this is the part which we will send to our AI agent. This is what we had in our Google Sheets. So the name of the person, the LinkedIn URL, as well as the phone number that we found through Better Contact. So this is the input that we need to give the AI agent. We can see in the documentation from Ringly. Here we have the from phone number. This is the phone number that we just bought in Ringly. So this is something we're going to paste in here. If we go back to our agent, we're going to click agents and we're going to see the phone number that Chloe has. So we're just going to copy it and then we can paste it here in the body. The second part is the two numbers. So these are the people that we want to call to so their mobile phone number. And this is something that we get from the Google Sheet. So you will be able to see here the input as soon as you have ran it once, you'll be able to see the input here and you can just drag it here or write it out again. For the agent tag, we have to go back to Ringly. We here on Chloe and then click on the three dots and we're going to copy our agent tag and then just copy paste it back here where it says agent tag. Last thing is we're going to add a dynamic variable because we want to personalize our call because we have the first name of that person. So we also want the agent to use it. So we're going to use the customer name. This is the custom variable and we're going to put it from the Google Sheet directly here. Now we're going to the last module, which is the Google Sheet again. What you have to do now is to double click here and then connect it again. So this has to be the same sheet like we did in the first module. And here we're going to map it again and we do map each column manually because what we want to do now is we want to map the found phone number from Better Contact back to the sheet. And we also want to see if the AI agent already called that prospect or not. So the values to update is basically the contact. So we're going to use the LinkedIn profile as the match because this is the most unique input that we have. And then we're going to use the phone number that better contact found from the webhook. So both of this data is coming from the webhook and then this X. So X means that the AI agent actually called this person already. All right, now let's look at the whole flow again. What it does, it basically looks at the prospects that you add to the Google sheet. And as soon as you add a new prospect, it's going to send an API call to better contact to find the mobile phone number and also have it verified and better contact then will send this data so the mobile phone number to the webhook and the webhook will then 
sent the data to Ringly. So the AI agent gets all of the data which it needs to do the outbound call. And then as the last step, the AI agent will give us feedback if the person has already been called or if it has not been called yet. When you've set everything up correctly, like we've just discussed, you will have a fully automated cold calling agent that basically schedules meeting for you in your sleep. You can then click on test workflow and then have it run on autopilot. We're not going to do it in this video because it will take some time because better contact requests up to 20 mobile phone providers. So it can take some time for it to find the actual mobile phone number. But what we can do right now, we can go back to Ringly and then go to Chloe our AI cold calling agent and then see how she actually performs in a call. So we're going to click here on make web call. Hello, is Roman. Hello, Roman. Are you currently doing outbound for your business? Actually, I'm not doing anything there. Would you be interested in a free two week period where our outbound agency tries to generate as many meetings as possible for you? Sounds interesting. Is it completely for free? Yes, it is completely free for the two week period. If you're interested, we can set up an initial meeting with our outbound specialist to conduct an audit. Shall we move forward? Yeah. Please. Great. I will arrange the initial meeting with our outbound specialists. Please hold on for a moment while I set that up. Perfect. So this is basically our first call with Chloe. And as you can see, it sounded actually quite natural. And she was doing what we were telling her. So basically, we are an outbound agency and she should schedule a meeting for us for a first free audit. We can also get an overview of how Chloe performed. So we can click here on activity. We can see the amount of calls made, the average cost per call, and a lot of more data. What's also a great feature of Ringly, we can go here on call history. The actual call conversation has been recorded so we can hear the recording but we can also just read the chat of the recording so here this is the call that we just had and here we have all of the chat being written down now this is an insanely powerful system to have set up but if you don't have any leads this system is completely useless so click here to check out the next video where we'll go through the best ways to generate leads that i have found these methods use advanced ai scraping and enrichment tools so you can essentially just copy me and generate thousands of leads with hardly any effort you could literally just plug this then in your ai cold calling agent and generate hundreds of booked meetings basically in your sleep i see you in the next one